YouTubes, how's it going? Uh, here we are in part 20 of this Pokemon Blue Extravaganza walkthrough. Uh, my voice is a little scratchy today, a little dry. I'm going to try to keep drinking some water about every 5 minutes uh, this 20 minute part. Uh, so just bear with me, but we're having a pretty chill, laid back part for part 20. Uh, and I would assume we're probably around halfway there, uh, considering I'm probably going to be taking on Erica in part 21 or 2. So that's halfway there in terms of gym leaders, but still got Leap 4 and things after that. So you never know. Uh, could go longer. But I have some things I want to cover first off. Uh, off screen, Blastoise got to level 41, learned nothing new. Big Bird as well. I got Boulder up to level 40. Um, and Vulpix. Uh, I caught my Vulpix at level 20 in last part, if you don't remember. So we'll check out its stats. Uh, it's pretty low in terms of attack and defense, as you would expect. It's more of a, uh, a speed special combo, like a psychic type. It's got... Um, some great fire moves it can learn. Oh, I, I want to say great, actually, considering it learns fire spin, and I'll get to that uh, in a little bit. Okay, so it had Ember by the time um, I left with you guys. It, it learns that very early on, but I learned Roar at level 21, Confuse Ray at level 28, Flamethrower at level 35, and then I learned fire spin at level 42 in two more levels. Uh, but I'm going to be ditching fire spin considering it has 15 power. Fire spin is great on the Charizard training card, but it's awful in this game. So I kept this move set for right now. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Um, so we're going to head down here. So Rex Quando is now a Machoke. Uh, it's got awesome attack. Um, pretty average elsewhere, but awesome attack. Uh, attack kind of looks like a turtle or like a Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtle there a little bit. Pretty good HP. Um, and uh, we learned uh, a couple moves. Um, off screen, we learned low kick. I kept that at the daycare for a while. I was training Vulpix, so we got it up a little bit. Low kick at level 20, Leer at level 25, Focus Energy level 32. Um, and I was intending on keeping him a choke or a chop until level um, 39, so I could learn Seismic Toss at level 39 with my Machop, and then have it evolve at level 40. But I accidentally screwed up, didn't press B, so my Machoke evolved. Or my Machop evolved to do a choke at level 33. So I'm going to have to wait till level 44 to get my Seismic Toss and level 52 to get Submission. We'll be teaching it some TMs later on, though, because its moveset gets kind of dicey. But we're going to head into Celadon City now. Uh, nothing else to do. We're eventually going to get something to drink for this uh, cranky dude in there and his friends. And we'll check out the item pack right now. I bought some more items, I believe. We got a couple more Great Balls and some Super Repels, so... We're going to head into the bustling city we call Celadon City. Um, Celadon City is the 8th largest city in the Pokemon world. You'd think it'd be bigger than that, though. Keep out of Team Rocket's way. Sorry. I didn't know I was in, in your way, man. Um, but we're going to head into the Pokemon Center right now. There's tons of things to do in here. I'm going to talk to a bunch of people along the way. If I had a bike, I would go to Cycling Road. I'll be going there eventually. A little foreshadowing. Pokeflute awakens Pokemon with a sound that only they can hear. So that's one of the main goals of being in Celadon City, is getting that Poke Flute. I rode a pill on Cycling Road from Fuchsia. From Fuchsia what? Fuchsia the color of the city. Please specify. You failed to do that. Um, but um, that is one of the goals of us being in... And I gotta find... I gotta check out... Okay, so... There is one hit -em item, which is beyond the cuttable bush. I don't believe there's a hit -em item over hidden item over here. Uh, I will check though. I don't recall there being a hidden, a hidden item though. Uh, I don't think so, unless it's somewhere in one of these trees. Check out here. Uh, no, I don't think. I think there's one hidden item, which is the PP up. But we're getting the Poke Flute from Sylph, uh, Sylph Co., which will allow us to. Um, and I'm going to get Eevee here, so I'm going to free up a spot on my team. We're going to go into Game Freak here, um, which will allow us to... Actually, I'm going to get Ducks out first because I want to cut that tree, get that PP up. Uh, get the Poke Flute and then go back to Lavender Town, go in the, the Pokemon Tower. I know you guys are bracing yourself. You don't want to go back in that Pokemon Tower. Spooked out, I understand. I am too. So we're going to po deposit our multi multi-faceted Wigglytuff. We're going to head down here and get Ducks, who is still hanging on to Thread as far as being useful to, my, uh, to our team. Because once you get to a certain point in the game, cut is kind of passe. You don't really need to use it. Um, so here we'll check out this sign. Trainer tips. Guard special. Protects Pokemon against special attacks such as fire and water. Get your items and sell it on the department store. So that's a bit of advertising right there. 
Um, and no, I'm not going to be falling for that advertising because I never have need had a need for guard special. It's a waste of an entire move and puts you behind, actually. So we're going to hack away with the cut and PP up is up here. There we go. So we got PP up and I'm not going to be using that quite yet because I have stuff I want to save it for. I don't have an all-out move that I've totally decided on um, having increased. Obviously, you want to use PP ups on moves that have about 5 PP or something like that, uh, like a Fire Blast or a Blizzard or a Hyper Beam. Uh, if you want to have uh, a Solar Beam, don't be confused. Solar Beam only has 10, or has 10, so you might not want to use it. So I'm not going to withdraw an item and deposit this guy. And we're going to be buying some items at the department store. So if you're one that likes to go on shopping sprees, this is your part. So now I'm going to uh, just drop off Duck so I can get that um, Eevee right into my team right away. And off screen, um, I'm going to train up that Eevee to um, a level that I don't, I don't, you know, well, I guess I don't need to train. I can just use the Fire, fire Stone, Thunder Stone, or Water Stone because I'm going to get one of those Pokemon to satisfy my quest to get as many Pokemon as I possibly can in this emulator uh, version of the game. So as you can tell, this is kind of a, a random place to be. It's a businessy center. I broke in, it looks like. I know everything. Strange. I don't really know how to comment on that. I know everything about the world of Pokemon in your Game Boy. Get together with your friends and trade Pokemon. So this is kind of acting. It's, it's an interesting twist on everything. You're kind of spun around a little bit, I know. But you are essentially within within the game and the game's game creator's mind. It's a pamphlet on TMs. There are 50 TMs in all. There are also 5 HMs that can be used repeatedly. Silpco. So that can actually be kind of uh, informative. Uh, and I was just checking to see if there's anything else we can read. Because you never know what you can find in the world of Pokemon. Rock out Eevee. So I can just walk in here. Do whatever I want. Steal Eevees. He doesn't give two wooden nickels about me taking this Eevee out of here. I don't understand that logic. Um, but I'll take the Eevee. Might as well. So... Um, that is the most important thing for me, is getting that Eevee out of here. Obviously, increases my Pokedex by a little bit. And, uh, you can buy some Fire Stones, Thunder Stones, Water Stones, whatever you may need from the department store. So, I'm gonna head in the, the traditional entrance, uh, not be a sly, uh, thief. It takes a thief. This is my trusted pal, Poliwhirl. It evolved from Poliwhirl when I used a Water Stone. So, I'm not gonna talk to him, because he's gonna be throwing some gibberish at me. Celadon Mansion. Which would be Game Freak. Sell my Mansion Manager Suite. So we're going to walk in here. He's got some Pokemon around him, obviously. My dear Pokemon, keep me company. Meowth even brings money home. And look how his legs are spread out there. Is he doing the splits? Not a comfortable position to be at all day. Or at all, for that matter. Game Freak Meeting Room. So doesn't look like a meeting room to me. It's got a bed. Um, let's check on the... Uh, I can actually access to my computer in here. It's kind of a nice design in there. I got some plants, got some books to read at night. Got a computer, got a bed, you got everything you possibly want here. Game Freak Development Room. So, we're gonna talk to these guys. Probably some boring information. I wrote the story. Isn't Erica cute? I like Misty a lot too. Oh, it's a breeder. You Brock from the anime? I think you came up with him. Me, I'm the programmer. That's too high tech for me. Is that right? I'm the game designer. Filling up your Pokedex is tough, but don't quit. When you finish, come tell me. I'm the graphics artist. I drew you. That's get that's beyond understanding right there. And you're supposed to be on that chair? You're a little bit off center, and you must be missing an admin, it appears. I feel sorry for you, because I don't see your admin. Um, and I don't think we can do anything down here, and this would be a place for a hidden item, but there is no hidden item. And going back to coming back after you complete your Pokedex, really there is nothing great about coming back. He gives you a sheet of paper that you can print out using your Game Boy printer, which I don't even understand how it works. And it's lame. Um, so if your incentive is to get that piece of paper, um, well, just reorganize your priorities because you're going to be vastly disappointed. Just do it for your own satisfaction. Sudan City, the city of rainbow dreams. Sounds kind of sissy to me. Sissy like the game corner is bad for our city's image. I agree. I don't want this to be a Las Vegas type. I think they had Las Vegas in mind actually. I got my coughing Cinnabar. That's nice, but it breeds poison when it's angry. I don't like my pets when it breeds poison. Am I gonna have to call 
Poison control? No. I'm not getting a pet that does that. Hello, welcome to the Celadon department store. The board on the right describes the store's layout. First service, service counter, trainer's market, TV game shop, wise men gifts, drug store, rooftop, vending machine. So we're going to head through here. Obviously, it's kind of misadventures in this part. Not too much going on. Uh, but I'm going to do that. Just have a nice casual part for you guys. Not going to get a ton done, but I'm going to get some odds and ends um, taken care of. Super Repel keeps weak Pokemon at bay. Hmm, it's more powerful Repel. And getting all these items right now will prevent me from stocking up later on. Long, for long outings, you should buy Revive. That would be agreed, because <laughs> I want to bring this up to you. When I was training my Vulpix and Machops, training up a lower level Pokemon to a high level Pokemon is like raising a child. I mean, it costs you tons of money. You're spending on repels. Not repels, revives and super potions. Trips to the market. Trips to the Pokemon Center. It's just an ordeal. So I just wanted to draw that analogy for you guys. I don't need any of these items currently. Uh, no, I'm set to go. Thank you for your time, though. And I have a list of what these things are. So TM32 is double team. Useless. I do not need that. Reflect, no. Once again, Razor Wind, no. Horn Drill, interesting move. TM7, don't need it though. TM37, Egg Bomb. Like the name, don't like the result. TM1, which is Mega Punch, I might consider buying, and I'm going to buy it uh, for my squad. And TM5 is Mega Kick, even better. We got Takedown and Submission. I don't like Takedown just because of the recoil, and I don't really fully understand Submission. But I'm not going to use it for any of my, um, wait a second. I can just teach that to, um, submission to, you know, I'm going to learn it in level 52 eventually with Mach Machoke, so I'm, uh, you know, I'm really jumping back and forth here. I think I'm going to buy Mega Kick and, um, submission here. If I get, need to sell an item or two, I will do that. Um, so TM17 is submission. I'm going to teach that. It's a great move. I'm going to teach that to my Machoke. Instead of waiting to level 52, which I have to do right now, which takes a lot of patience. And we're going to continue to head up here. So that's nice convenient. Oh, hi. Finally finished Pokemon. Not done yet? This might be useful. Your pack is full of items. All right. What can I ditch? All right. Pokeball. I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to sell that Pokeball rather than toss it. You know, you always be economically sound. And I'm going to use the side counter. doesn't get enough love. So hundred dollars, it'll pay off in the end. You watch. There's gonna be something I need that costs a hundred extra dollars that I wouldn't otherwise have had. Oh hi, finally not done another. So we got TM18. TM18 is counter, which I'm gonna sell back to him. Um, all right. What is your purpose then? Just counter dudes? Captured Pokemon are registered with ID number and OT, the original trainer that caught it. So I'm, it's like flipping a house here. I'm going to go ahead and sell that counter that I just got. You can identify Pokemon you got in trades by their ID numbers. Cool. Don't need to, though. All right. My buddy's going to trade me his Kangaskhan for a Graveler. Don't do it. Come on, Graveler. I love Graveler. Collect them, huh? Graveler turned to do a different Pokemon, which I want, but I can't get. Stupid emulators. But I love you, emulator. I heard something useful. You can run from wild Pokemon, but distract them with a Poke doll. Well, you must have some low-level Pokemon. So we're going to talk to him. Uh, I'm not going to buy. I'm going to sell. And I'm going to sell counter. Like flipping a house. You get the item, I'm going to sell it right away. So we can make a 1,000 off of that. Back in uh, five figures. And I'm going to get a stone. I'm going to get... Do I have enough for each? Let's see. Um, You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna buy yeah I'm gonna try to buy one of each because I can just sell off any items that I might may not need at the time. Um, so we got four of these stones I can't buy, use anymore. Uh, I'm gonna sell an item here. Gosh, item management is a chore. So my least valuable item that I currently have. You know I'm gonna teach uh, submission to Machoke. Oh crap. Uh. Oh no, I'm gonna have to go um, buy myself another submission then. Just wasted myself fifteen or forty five hundred dollars. That's not being economically efficient. You may think selling Pokeballs is not selling submissions. All right, so uh, I'm gonna break it to you. I'm going with Jolteon for the final spot in my team. 
Jolteon is a great electric type Pokemon. It's got great um, special attack and speed. Uh, you can have a great learn set with it as well. With electric type, fighting type, and bug type in there. Doesn't get any better than that. Um, we have powerful moves we can throw in there as well. And it's a little bit underused for the in terms of electric types. And I'm not going to go with the Magnemites. It takes too long to get to a Magnemite. So off screen I'm going to be training him up to level 40. And I'm going to go buy myself another stone, water stone. And I believe I can purchase a leaf stone as well. Oh, darn it. So, um, you know what would be nice if they have a PC in here? So, are these items I can sell away? I'm going to sell the super potion. Um, toss. No, I'm going to sell it. I got all these resources right here. I don't even know how to use it. Let's sell the super potion. Let's not make the mistake. Let's sell the super potion. Beautiful. So, I'm going to buy this leaf stone now. All right. Thank you, no problem. And um, I need to, I don't believe there's a computer in this place, so I'm gonna have to head down back here again uh, before I get submission. I'm gonna have to drop up some items. We got a lot of items to get rid of, and we got about four minutes left in this part anyway, so not much else I can do. Just gonna mosey around a little bit more. Hopefully I can finish up this part business, this mart business, part business, I can't even speak before I get on to the game quarter and take it on Team Rocket because that is an ordeal and that is a lot to deal with um, in Saldon City. But you get Sylph, Sylph scope, uh, co, skill, Sylph scope, not the Devon scope, the Sylph scope, and eventually you get um, TM1. I'm going, I'm just going to deposit these right now. I really don't um, know what I'm going to do with TM1 and 5, Mega Kick and Mega Punch. So I'm going to decide that off screen, so uh, I'm just going to deposit them anyways because I'm going to be buying some more items, uh, get some more TMs that I'm that are going to be awesome to have, um, and we'll, get, we'll cover that in a little bit. There's lots, also a lot of items that you can get in this game corner that I was referring to, not the game corner itself. Obviously, you can get Pokemon that you can purchase. Pokemon trafficking right there. The Pokemon trade! The slave trade. No. Okay, I'm done. That went a little too far there. It's a family show. So that wasn't really non-family friendly, but it was a untopical, untopical friendly, if you will. <laughs> so I'm gonna head up the stairs and buy myself submission. And I'm a submissive person. I make decisions and then I sell it away. So TM 17 that I do not stand corrected, and I'm going to use it. And you want to get away from the counter when you're going to teach your Pokemon a TM. Jeez, learn something new every day. Okay, so I'm going to use TM17 now. Teach it to my Rex Quando. And I'm going to ditch it. Uh, it doesn't have a great moveset right now, so it will be... Uh, yeah, Leer, not going to be using you too often. And if you use Leer, uh, you're a better man than I am. Because I don't know how to use Leer. And I don't think it's really useful to use Leer anyways. So I believe I covered this uh, area, counter dude. And did I come over to you? Yes, I did. You're a stone man. Not in that sense, a different sense. And we're talking to this gentleman. Pokemon ability enhancers can be bought only here. Use calcium to increase special abilities. Use carbos to increase speed. So this is obviously a place where you can buy iron, carbos, proteins, things like that. I'm here for Pokemon ability enhancers. Pokemon increases attack power. Iron increases defense. What about anabolic steroids? What does that increase? I'm not going to get into that because I hate steroid talk. But I thought that was funny to interject right there. And they're very expensive. And I'm very poor right now, as you can probably tell. So, my sister is a trainer, believe it or not. But she's so immature, she drives me nuts. I'm thirsty. I want something to drink. Uh, you can give her something to drink. So, by giving her fresh water, which we will start with give her this. I'm thirsty. I want something to drink. Give me here a drink. Yes. Yay. Fresh water. Thank you. You can have this from me. TM13. Awesome. Which is Ice Beam. Thank you so much. So, um, I'm going to be using Ice Beam, obviously. I'm going to teach you to a Pokemon, which will be a great move, an Ice-type move. Um, and I'm going to get a Soda Pop now. 
So, I don't know. Oh, $3 short. Unbelievable. Who would have known that? Um, so, I'm going to give her Soda Pop, which will don me a... Dun, dun, dun. TM48, Rock Slide. Awesome move that I can teach my Pokemon. Uh, I can spook the target sometimes, I'm assuming. Flinch. Um, so, we got one more item to get here in Celadon City that's not related to the Celadon department store. Or, um... Or something like the um, uh, game corner items in the Team Rocket hideout. So I'm just gonna get take care of this, and um, it's another good move. It's not a great move. It's kind of an in between move. I don't really know who I'm gonna be able to teach it to, uh, but you get it from a lemonade. And lemonades are great. They're even better than Super Potion. They're probably the most economical um, healing item in the game. So if you want to get yourself some melonade and heal up your Pokemon, go ahead. So dun dun dun, we get TM49. Let's try attack, uh, which is an interesting move. Anyways, that's it for part 20. Went a little bit over time. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this casual part, and it'll be probably pretty casual again in part 21. So see you guys then.